Thailand recently hosted what was billed as the largest technology conference in the Asia-Pacific region, the TechSource Global Summit 23. Its highlights included exhibitions of state-of-the-art technology in artificial intelligence, data management, and brain signals. The event saw as many as 16,000 participants from over 50 countries. The startup showcased innovative ideas for potential investors. Corporates displayed their achievements in developing new technologies. One Thai company demonstrated prototype control of robotic arms using brain signals. This is an easy headset device to record your brain signal. So we are either the BCI, which stands for the brain computer interface. We are focusing on the how to use the brain signal to communicate with the P, uh, to communicate with the computer. Yes. So in the uh, in the this BCI term, we call the motor imagery. We focusing on the how to imagine the action between left activity and right activity. Uh, for example, you in uh, you imagine that you grab the, a fruit with your left hand or grab a fruit with your right hand. Yes. So and we use the uh, we capture the brain signal from the you imagine to analyze them and. Uh, list, uh, return it with the command into the machine to grab the fruit. Since Thailand's government supports EV initiatives through subsidies and tax reductions, the demand of EV charging station is growing. One startup supported by SCG has proposed a solution to the limited supply of EV charging stations in Bangkok. Mi Park is a smart plug for electric vehicle, right? Uh, nowadays we know a lot of pain points of the electric vehicle. Because, uh, for example, let, let's imagine if you uh, finish your work and you have to uh, find somewhere to charge your electric vehicle or your car. So you have to uh, wait for someone to charge and unplug it, right? So is this, is this possible or is this good for you if you can uh, just go back home and then you just uh, put your, your plug, your portable charge, and then you can sleep and then wake up in the morning and then you can unplug it. Yeah, it's, the uniqueness is that uh, you can control uh, your 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 electricity cost because uh, if compared to the other solution, you have to wait until it's fully charged, right? Uh, this smart plug is the 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 our solution is served for the B two B two C. Our our first uh, initiation is to uh, collaborate with the condominium first. Yeah. For example, the existing condo, we can um, combine our solution to into the parking lot. In addition to EV charging technology, virtual reality was another highlight at this event. One Thai company provided VR technology for game players to walk on a 360-degree machine and for social media influencers to interact with online fans. We have three products to demonstrate in this event. We have this, uh, this is called uh, Pedaverse. It's uh, our free roam VR solution and um, as you can see right here this is uh, it's called Pedastar it's our virtual influencer solution so it's a uh, real time animation and um, this one is a uh, VR 360 so it's like a uh, in the movie ready player one so you can um, play VR games with a uh, omnidirectional treadmill we are focusing on uh, gaming right as you said and um, also the influencer industry like the live stream industry to be exact so um, right now we are we are like joining in on the the TikTok live stream trend. So, but but we are trying to introduce to introduce like the virtual avatar in Thai in Thai TikTok. So, because uh, I think in Thai TikTok right now, uh, Thai people are not familiar with uh, this kind of technology yet. So we're trying slowly entering the market with our virtual idol. Yeah. Giant corporates, including banks, are also putting effort into adapting their business with new technology. One Thai bank is developing a super app to facilitate payment, investment, and loan services on its mobile application. Kung Thai, if it has an arise, these three companies are developing the platform for, for our ties. We have Baozhan applications, which is uh, uh, the application that allows users to buy digital lottery and also can buy, the, uh, can buy gold, can trade gold, and, and also can buy 
uh, corporate bond and some other stuff all in uh, this platform. So now we have uh, around uh, 40 million user base in our applications and uh, we are expanding more initiatives to serve the Thai users. We also have Thungen applications with, with each one of the largest merchant platform in Thailand. Now we have around 1.8 million merchants in our platform. TechSource Global Summit's organizers stated that more than 1,000 deals have been concluded at this two-day event. With signing of MOUs with like-minded organizations, the CEO of TechSource Media hopes to prepare Thailand to become a digital gateway in Southeast Asia within the next three years. Feng Kan Shi reporting for Thai PBS World.